Welcome to a, another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. My name's Todd, and uh, I'm here to go over this Hyphonics amplifier for you. I thought I'd just shoot a video on this because there's something different, uh, obviously as you can probably see on the screen here, different about the Hyph this Hyphonics board. Uh, we uh, get accustomed to uh, dealing with the same issues uh, along the lines of manufacturers and I've I have repaired many many hyphonics boards and they all have a same just the same board the same layout same problem same issues uh, same repairs but I got in two hyphonics Brutus uh, these are the BG 3300.1s and uh, I, uh, I told the owner, I said, yeah, go ahead and send them in. I mean, I'm familiar with the Brutus amps. I'm familiar with Maxonics. Um, so I pulled the back off of this amplifier. And what I found was Hyphonics has switched to a different board on their Brutus lines. Or at least the Brutus um, line of amplifiers. This is not like the previous Brutus boards. This uses what you will find in an Orion amplifier. Uh, what are those? The Orion XTR. That's what it is. The XTR boards. It's uh, almost, I don't want to say it's identical because you really can't have identical boards. Uh, without conflict of interest for manufacturers because if you look at this drive board it is set up uh, just slightly different than the uh, XTR boards so they did change the layout just a little but it's the same layout it's the same function does the same thing uh, so it uses the IR2110 uh, to drive these pre-drive transistors here uh, to drive the outputs so you have uh, six outputs, two rectifiers, you have your two inductors. Again, this is a classic XTR copy here. Uh, you got your power supply, your rail capacitors, and four independent transformers for the power supply. I have not pulled any heat sink spreaders on this board to see what they're using um, because this guy sent two of these in because I do have a 50 hertz signal going in. I have blue lights all around. Protection light is not coming on. And if you notice up on the screen there, we do have a 50 hertz signal. Uh, so, and this is the same on both his boards. There's no physical issue. I, I haven't put them under extreme load testing yet. And I'm not sure the reason uh, if these were returns or whatnot, but I'm starting to see a lot of returns, uh, distributor returns that are coming back with no problems. So uh, maybe it's just today's society returning stuff that they don't like. Uh, but again, this board has a nice clean output on it. And so does the other uh, board, the other amplifier that he sent in. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that, you know, for you guys that do uh, Hyphonics repairs that probably haven't done a lot of their newer boards, that they have switched to an XTR style uh, board, which is good. That's a good thumbs up for Maxonics there for switching the design. Uh, I enjoy this design. I like it. It's a, it's a very straightforward design. Sometimes I do have problems on these cards. They do have a very odd protection circuit on these. Uh, but uh, for the most part, these are really straightforward amplifiers. And it's just standard uh, 2110 drive. Let me see what's my scope set at here. Let me, let me show you how these drive here. I'm just going to go to uh, 50 volts per division here. So here is the rail-to-rail, -rail, 
Well, let me set the scope up here where you can see it. So there's your rail to rail. And you can see right on the uh, right hand side, the slope coming down on there. You can see the, the modulation there. And then of course, you're gonna have your low side drive, which if I bump it to 20 volts of division and bring my trigger down, you should be able to just catch a glimpse of that low side drive there, so, uh, which gives you the uh, 12 volts peak to peak on your low side drive. So that 2110 is functioning just perfect as it should. Um, but I just wanted to go over that and let you guys know, hey, they have switched up their design. I know some other techs are probably going, yep, they probably knew this, but I did not know this. So now I know that the newer Brutus style boards are running the 2110s. And that just tells me I better stock a few more of these ICs, which are getting a little harder to come by uh, with today's IC shortages. So, so that's my quick update for you guys. Um, I do have a Nakamichi amplifier that I got in that I will probably be doing a repair video on. And I have an Alpine MRD 1000 that I am also going to be going over. Um, and seeing if I can get that back up and running. So, ah, uh, that's what I wanted to cover today. So, I do thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this kind of repair content, please like and subscribe, and I will uh, catch you on the next video. Take care.